Hey everyone, this is Charlie Young. Welcome to another episode of Behind the Music Video. I'm so happy that so many of you are enjoying this series. So for this week, we are going to be delving into the music video for I Want It Now. Um, fun fact before we go into the video, there is a newish show. I think it came out either, um, I think it came out earlier this year called uh, The Ghost Town Terror. And it's on Discovery Plus, and I believe it's on the Travel Channel as well, since those, uh, since they are Travel Channel as part of Discovery Network, um, and it is based around the ghost haunting this particular ghost town where we shot. I want it now. So, little fun fact. So, without further ado, here we go. Oh, and on the show, um, they talk about a lot of the buildings in the ghost, ghost town that are haunted, but the jail where we filmed a lot of the scenes is apparently like the one building that has no paranormal activity. I don't know if that's changed, but at least that was the case when we shot here in October of 2020, so right during the uh, pandemic. So you'll see a lot of classic Western elements, like the um, title was in that classic kind of Western wanted sign. I really wanted that graphic, speaking of wanted. and um, But you'll also notice, as you just saw, some sci-fi elements. So Emmy, um, my director, Amelia Mendieta Cordova, she's a big sci-fi fan, and um, I have a big appreciation for sci-fi as well. So we incorporated that into the Western genre. I'm a huge Western fan myself, so we had kind of a nice little marriage between the two genres. So just keep an eye out for both this sci-fi influence as well as the Western influence as the video progresses. Care if I look like a mess to you I don't care if what I'm doing impresses you I'm not that one I won't be under your screw You'll also notice, just like the video that um, we went behind last week, Minefield, that this is in the anamorphic format. So again, this is the widescreen format where you've got a lot of um, black at the top and at the bottom of the frame. So just, you know, this is, again, like I said last week, we, you know, do maybe one or two music videos in a certain format or style, and then we move on. We shot Minefield and um, I Want It Now, I think within two days of each other. Again, it was during the pandemic and we wanted to get, you know, content pretty much when we were together, like, let's get as much content as we can, you know, so we're not having to keep traveling and risking exposure because there weren't vaccines at the time. So these two videos last week's and this week's are in that anamorphic format because they were both shot October of 2020. To So this is um, a tetrahedron. So Emmy had this great idea to have this kind of glowing kind of um, element, you know, where I'm kind of going on these uh, time travel and, you know, transporting different places to find these pieces of this tetrahedron to form this powerful structure, like this triangular, almost pyramid-like structure. So you'll see each one of these characters go on a mission for the person who's in the jail. So the woman who's in the jail is kind of like the boss and these other characters that you'll be seeing like this gunslinger character, they're all, you know, basically hired by the woman in the jail, the boss to go out and find these, these pieces of the tetrahedron to put it together so she can get out and have her power again. So that was kind of the concept there.
You'll also notice a lot of historical elements here um, and a lot of blending of different time periods. I'm a huge fan of, you know, classic Hollywood. So really from, you know, when it started and kind of gotten to its heyday. So, you know, like the late 1920s to 1940s. So you'll notice um, the woman who's kind of the boss or whatever in the jail cell. She has kind of that 30s, 40s look. Right. And then you'll notice, though, um, you'll notice some other, you know, different kind of time periods, uh, you know, hearkened to during this video as well. Um, and also that revolver I'm using, um, you know, we're very much into gun safety on set. So that was a um, 1880s cavalry replica revolver. So you could cock the hammer. Um, it fired, but it was non-loadable. It had a non-loadable chamber because, again, safety on set is very important. And even though it was non-loadable, we still had a safety check every time we brought that out. Just, you know, it's good to practice, you know, and be in the habit of acting as if a gun could be loaded because even if things aren't loadable, you know, you never know. You don't want to risk it. You don't want to risk people's lives. So a little disclaimer there. I don't care if how I'm living's okay with you I don't care if what I'm saying's approved by you So the next girl in the red dress, she again kind of looks like she's from the 30s, 40s era. So in keeping with the, you know, same time period as the woman in the, um, the boss woman in the jail cell. Um, but, you know, she's also trying to find a piece of this tetrahedron, this kind of pyramid figure in order to bring it back to the boss. Okay, fun fact about this. So Amelia is the one who added all these like special effects like the um, the um, kind of lasso that I'm using to teleport is each of these characters. She added the effects so that it glows and, you know, all of that kind of stuff. And she also added blood to this particular scene. I remember when she first put it out, I was like, okay, Emmy, that's like, that's like a lot of blood. Like, can we tone it down? You know, just, I don't know. I I don't really mind blood, but I didn't want it to be too gory at the same time, you know, kind of have to have like a, you know, I don't know, just a, a compromise there. And the fun thing is, is every time that I'm down and I'm dead here in this jail uh, and the boss woman is taking the pieces, that's actually Amelia's hand. So Amelia took, would take one of the black gloves and put it on and that's her reaching for the piece. So she's kind of my stand in, if you will. Um, being the boss woman taking the piece from one of her, you know, one of her workers, one of her agents that she's killed. So. Okay, so I was trying to stop on the sky there. So the sky, it was um, it was twilight, it was dusk, and this scene was our last scene, and we were really pushing it. Um, we were really losing daylight at this point. And um, I just remember that, so Karen, who again you can see on the Ghost Town Terror, along with her son uh, Cameron, and then my mom, Cheryl, you know, they are like, where are they? They're not in the jail filming. They're not in the, um, you know, they're not in the actual town part. Where did they go? We went up to like kind of the base of the mountain. This was shot in Montana, just like minefield. Um, this was in Anaconda, Montana. And, um, anyway, 
Karen, Cameron, and my mom had to be like on mountain lion duty because we're just there shooting and like we're kind of oblivious to the fact that, oh, well, hey, there could be mountain lions here. So, you know, so they were a little bit stressed about that. We kind of put them through the ringer while we were getting these shots. Um, but anyway, Amelia went into post and kind of gave it this more kind of sci-fi kind of surreal kind of looking sky, which I think is pretty awesome. Uh, you know, kind of to kind of add to the steampunk steampunk character um, here, this agent who's kind of a steampunk era. Um, she's from the steampunk era, so thing is pretty cool. But yeah, we were avoiding mountain lions when we were shooting this part, so it's pretty cool because you cannot see any fear in my face because I was oblivious. Whereas you know everybody else around sets like freaking out. So you know, sacrifices for your art. On this road. So again, that was Amelia's hand grabbing the piece for me, and it's really cool. So last week, if you missed last week's episode of Behind the Music Video, I, I make a statement that, hey, um, if you look closely, you know, before there's a tree stump that I climb onto, you see my feet climbing onto the tree stump, uh, I said, hey, look, there's a piece um, from a previous music video. I think I said from the I Want It Now video. Anyway... Sometimes Amelia and I like to hide little Easter eggs, you know, these little fun things from previous videos or to kind of tell you that like, hey, there's a new music video, you know, that might have this element coming out as well to create some kind of continuity, some kind of connection. Anyway, there was a piece from um, one of these, one of the sides of the tetrahedron in the Minefield music video at the base of the tree. So if you blink, you, if you blink, you might miss it. But again, it's, the, it's right before... I put my feet on top of the tree stump in the Minefield music video. You'll see a piece of the tetrahedron there, which is pretty cool. Okay, so the boss has killed everybody who went out and did her dirty work while she was in jail to get the t uh, to get all the pieces of the tetrahedron. She now has it. She now has her power. She's getting out of jail, and she's you know ruthlessly killed. Like I said, her agents, the women who were working for her. But, you know, that's the way it goes sometimes in Westerns, right? Or in movies. So here we are. And again, you'll see that we have the font for all the credits in that Western, like, wanted poster kind of format. So anyway, it was a really fun music video to film so if you haven't seen the whole music video as well apart from this um behind the music video series i really encourage you to go out and watch it also watch minefield it was also a really fun music video to shoot and they were both shot around the same time so thank you as always for going behind the music video with me i hope you enjoyed this week's episode and i will see you here next week take care of yourself <laughs>